Hello, my magical Librans. Welcome to your weekly reading for the 9th to the 15th of August. Hoping that you're all well. Thank you for joining us in our space again. I'm so humbled and grateful to be in this time and space with you. Guys, thanks for all the likes, shares, subscribes. Please, um, if you are new to the channel, we would love to have you join us by subscribing. Click on the little bell and you'll get a notification every time I post a video. Okay, guys, so as always, non-gender specific. Please take the energies as they resonate with you. Um, please don't be Cinderella and try and make it fit. Just let it be. And if it's not your reading this week, check it back to the older readings or alternatively go and check one of your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. OK, and finally, due to some incredible people in my space, um, I am very lucky and very happy to announce that all of the links below should be working. Um, so we got that sorted out. OK, guys, so. The word that I got for your reading today is satisfaction, OK? Um, so I feel like it's kind of the pursuit of satisfaction. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of getting that energy of with this powering up of the, the, the new moon and the lion's gate, it kind of feels to me like there are a lot of you out there who have just gone, screw it, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm just going for it now. Um, and whatever it is that's going to bring that satisfaction into your space, I feel like that's an energy driving you very strongly at the moment. Okay, so let's see where this goes. Um, I have pre-shuffled all the cards. I just want to do another quick shuffle here. Um, I'm, totally, I'm so in love with these cards. You don't understand. I'm like, oh, you've got to just love them. Okay, right. So, okay, I, mean, I mean, this is completely off topic, but I mean, seriously, how beautiful is the back of that card? I mean, come on. Okay, all right. So, let's see what our beautiful, magical Librans have to say have to know from this week gods guides elementals what do we have for our librans this week okay let's see where you at spirit has a plan okay so i'm feeling very strongly that that energy i have of you guys driving forward to get to where you want to be is great you need to do what you are capable of doing but you need to let spirit take care of the rest is what i'm hearing so yes you can do what you are physically capable of but when we start trying to control too much then there becomes a bit of an issue because we actually the resistance then creates blockages for us what we're wanting to move forward more quickly okay so i just love this card i mean how cute is it the little koala spirit is beautiful okay so make sure that you are aware that yes you need to be working on what you want to do yes you're striving for what you want and for, for satisfaction in your life generally whether it be job satisfaction relationship satisfaction whatever it is but just be mindful that spirit has a plan as well and very often we de we delay what we want because we don't allow spirit to um, come in and help us out okay right so let's just see quicks what's going on for our librans 9th to the 15th guys guys and elementals what do they need to know okay there we go i can understand the satisfaction now Sure, this is a really nice reading, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a beautiful reading, Libra. Really gorgeous. Okay. So it looks like you're going to get your satisfaction. And all I can hear is that. Is it Aerosmith in the background? I can't get no. Rolling Stones. I, need to, I can't believe I got Aerosmith and Rolling Stones mixed up. Oh my god. Okay, right. So. The energy at the moment here is feeling overwhelmed and feeling like you have too much to do, not being sure on how to move forward. There are too many decisions. There's too much to do. Um, and what I'm hearing loudly and clearly is just take a deep breath, okay? Um, when we are set on doing something and there is a massive journey ahead of us, you know, it's that old adage, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. And this is exactly what they're saying to me. Take a deep breath. You've got the plan. You know where you want to go. You know, you've. You, I feel like this lion's gate has been massive for a lot of you. It's been like that energy of, you know what? 
um, I need to change. It's like we've all, I think a lot of people have felt very stuck lately, but um, I do think that for you guys, you're like, I need to move forward now. This is ridiculous. And so you're doing what you can to make those plans and to, to try and propel yourself forward. But in doing that, you're taking on too much. So Librans, just take a little breath, okay? And understand that again remember spirit has a plan as well so it's not to say that it isn't align in alignment with your plan it's just to say that how you're choosing to get there and what you're needing to do may not be exactly what you are planning on it so just make sure that you are releasing all that is unnecessary burden at the moment really like re remove tasks and situations that are putting you under unnecessary stress what you're wanting to be is in a calm space of receptivity and um, acceptance as well because there's going to be stuff that comes in that you're going to need to accept but understanding that spirit is actually with you working with you through this you don't have to do everything yourself okay you're not alone now the energy bubbling up from this I mean, you can't make this stuff up is the wish fulfilled card the nine of cups all right so this is very clearly saying to me that you know you're in a place where you really want this. This is the bubbling up energy. It's coming up underneath all of this. This is, I feel like in this situation, this is motivating this year because you're feeling overwhelmed. You've got these big dreams. You've got these big ones. You've got these big desires, but it all feels like a little bit too much. Okay. So you need to take a step back, guys. Understand that your dreams are within, especially now, your dreams are within reach. Lionsgate, literally, it goes until the 12th of this month. All right. So the 88 activation was a big portal, but the portal is still open until the 12th of the month. So you've still got time to manifest and manifest big. Okay. This is not a time to be playing small. I actually think that was one of the, this, the, um, um, I think I want to say Sagittarius's um, reading. That was what it was about, not playing small. Okay. So this is what's trying to chase you. This is calm guys. This is taking time to restore your energy. You cannot fill from an empty cup. If you keep on playing the local juggler, you're going to be in trouble. Your energy is going to run out. And for this to happen, you need to go the distance. You need endurance and and and, and um, you need to like, keep going. So Spirit is saying to you here, what really wants to come in is a little bit of calm and a little bit of restoration, a little bit of healing and some meditation, okay? So make sure that you're making time for this. Yes, you've got big dreams, but everything is going to work out in divine timing. When Spirit has a plan, let me explain to you, because I've been fighting this for five years. When Spirit has a plan, there is absolutely nothing you can do um, to inter interfere with that. When something is divinely orchestrated, okay, and spirit having a plan coming up means that something is coming towards you that you are wishing for, right, but that is preordained, that is destined, okay? So just understand that you need to also take time to take care of you. You cannot fill from an empty cup. Right. Now, this is what you are pursuing, which is in complete alignment with all of this. This is victory, recognition. OK, this is success. This is what you want. He's looking very proud of himself on there. And I don't mean that in like an arrogant, smug way, but he's accomplished. He's gotten to where he's wanted to. The victory wreath is up here. OK, so he's on the horse. He's moved forward. He's taken on the challenges and he's gotten to where he wants to be. His wishes have been fulfilled. He's made them happen. OK, which is great. But again, remembering that you cannot balance everything and that you need, in order to get to here, the Six of Wands, you need to actually take time for yourself and to self-care. Self-care is literally what um, Kelso is saying to me is absolutely vital for you at the moment. Okay, absolutely vital. Right, your message from Source, Seven of Pentacles. Just have a little patience, okay? We can see you doing the work. You're putting the effort in. Um, yes, you've got some fruit there. They're not 100% ready to harvest. Don't try and rush this, okay? This is what they're saying to me. Do not try and rush this. Take the time, all right? And if you feel like you get to points where you're stuck, where you've managed to let go of all of this, okay? Where you've managed to let go of your juggling act, but now you're wanting this to move forward, okay? Um, what they're saying to me is, is that you need to actually make sure that you are doing stuff that is creative um, and that is going to move you along energetically and spiritually. Okay, so they're saying instead of just sitting there watching, because you know what, a, 
a watch pot never boils. So if you're going to be sitting there watching a pot boil, it's going to take a whole lot longer to come in. Rather, when this is happening and you have discarded all the unnecessary stuff, take care of stuff that makes you happy and that, and that heals you. It can be simple things like sitting on the couch and reading a book or having a nice cup of tea on your veranda looking at the view. Use something that is restorative or creative to fuel you further along. Okay, now what a beautiful card. I have to just tell you that if somebody wants love, there is love coming in and it's big love. Like it's seriously big love. It's a wish coming true. It's going to create a very successful partnership. There is an offer, the Knight of, Cu the Knight of Cups comes in, so it's Prince Charming. And then you have the Ten of Cups. I mean seriously, and the Fool for the love of God and all things holy. Okay, so you literally have... Well, you've got fire here, you've got Leo, Sag, and Aries, you've got um, you've got the cups, Pisces, Scorpio, you've got all of the elements down. You've got earth and you've got air. So literally it could be anyone. But the only major arcana we've got down on the table is Aries. Okay, right, okay, so just a heads up here. All right, four of wands, this is about celebration. Four is about stability and um, building a long-term thing that brings great joy. Again, the wreath of victory here. For me, this is a twin flame card, so if some of you are into twin flames and that, this could be that now, especially with this Lion's Gate portal, that you're coming into union with your twin flame or are, um, I don't really have any reconciliation cards down on the table but um for some it's going to be a reconnection with twin flames all right but this is the half the halfway to marriage card this is very much about stability um family re well this actually is a reunions card to be honest this is a reunions card so if some of you have got um, a twin flame coming back you could actually be re reuniting with them if that's what you're wanting but this is about celebrations okay so this is your ancestor saying to you we've got you this is your ancestral message. We've got you. We want you to know that everything is going to be okay. Stop focusing on the nitty gritty. Take care of yourself. Focus on what's important. All right. Leave the rest behind. Stay connected and in tune. Look at all the yellow here. I always point this out because yellow is a very, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh God, I can't remember the word, but it's a very, um, uh, um, good indicator of joy and happiness and then you've got it on the 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 um the four of ones i mean the four of swords as well in the healing and then well you've got the rainbow of cups coming up here as well but i mean the massive amount of, of yellow you've got in your reading does pertain to like quite serious happiness and joy um so they're saying just take take a breath okay focus on what you're wanting but keep going with what you can do making sure that you take care of yourself that you're moving forward steadily that you're doing what you want you're having patience and this is it this is what happens okay i mean this could even be a marriage for some of you so just let your ancestors just know we've got you it's okay just take a deep breath Okay, the Knight of Cups is the action that needs to be taken. So for some of you, I feel like there is actually going to be an offer that comes in for you for love or for something that's going to move you forward to get you to your dreams, okay? Um, and I get this feeling of this restorative energy, I feel, is, and again, this card here, a little bit of patience is required, okay? So I feel around the action that needs to happen is actually an external action, which is quite unusual. It is an external action that needs to happen, but that you need to take patience and waiting for this action to happen, okay? It is on its way, all right? Um, but it will happen in the right time. Once you've accomplished what you've needed to do, what the other side that's in relation to this um, this uh, offer is going to need to do. When the timing is right and spirit is ready, this plan will come together. Okay, so just take a deep breath with there. It does, it's strange, but this is the first time in all the readings I've done that this has been an external thing that needs to happen. Okay, so how do we make this happen? Of course, we can't control it. But here we've got the Ten of Cups. So this is a magnificent outcome. So what they're saying here is um, make sure that you are happy and content where you are at okay where you are at this point in time if you can keep your vibration high if you can be joyful about where you're at and what's going on in your space things are going to go um really a lot more smoothly for you okay but staying in this space here of feeling stressed or feeling impatient okay is not going to get you to the ten of cups so you need to just take the time all right release what's what's not necessary for you at the moment have some restoration time okay fill your cup for your own cup before somebody else does 
and then oh thank you Kelsey he's saying here also with the Knights of Cups this is about filling your own cup as well about being your own hero okay so, so for those of you who will resonate for those of you who feel like you're going out to be independent and do your own thing this is very much about that but you're going to get that if you're happy where you are in your space okay very 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 important okay and then your outcome is a beautiful new beginning guys fresh start the fool major arcana again so with a major arcana we know that yes we can have we have some control and outcomes but when an age uh, when a major arcana comes in a lot of it is fated and a lot of it we actually don't have too much choice and we always have free will but how things happen and how they play out and when they play out that is then left up to spirit okay we have free will as to whether we want to take it or not um Guys, Libra, this is a really simple reading. I don't feel like it's 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 like seriously rocket science or anything. I think it's a really good reading. I think you guys have got a lot of happy, happy energy in here. I mean, for God's sake, you've got the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Fool card, the Knights of Cups. You know what I mean? Like, you guys have got it going on. You just have to do the work that you need to do on yourself. You need to be patient. You need to be able to restore yourself. And again, balance and that kind of stuff, because balance is huge for you guys. And then you know, act as if as well, like when you're in this space, you're kind of acting as if you've already got the nine of cups and the tenth cup already, so that brings you to the tenth cup, all right, so just make sure that you are keeping yourself in check with that, guys, but really, really beautiful reading for you guys this week, I hope it's resonated with some of you, sending you um, all my love, and I will catch you on the flip side, big loves, guys. Mwah.